Ars Technica has this story out. I uh, This blew up on my phone. Legendary Ron Hacking site shutting down after almost 20 years. Disputes about how to keep the site going simply led the founder to close it. It's a sad scene. It's happening. And unfortunately, it's going to keep happening. If there was something wrong with an old game or you wanted to make a different version of it and you wanted people to help you fix that, you typically did that uh, did that on romhacking.net. After this week, you have to go elsewhere. For nearly 20 years, the site has been home to some remarkable remakes, translations, fix-ups, and experiments. Star Fox running at 60 frames per second, Super Mario Land 2 in color, a fix for Super Mario 64's Bad Smoke. Even a Pac-Man D-Make that Namco spiffed up and resold. And that's not even counting the stuff that was pulled down by corporate cease and desist actions over the 20 years. It's a remarkable collection, one that encompasses both very obscure and mainstream games and well, uh, and well worth preserving. Preserved it will be, but it seems that Ron Hack, that the Ron hacking site will not go further. The site's founder posted a sign-off statement on the site Thursday night, one that in turn praised the community, decried certain members of it, and looked forward to what will happen with the next generation. To condense the statement by founder Nightcrawler, the site had come a long way. He missed the early small group days. There were more options now, and then last year, he attempted to hand control over to a small internal group. That is when Nightcrawler writes he discovered a most dishonest and hate-filled group, one that targeted him for cutting out of the site and harassment. The site's database, minus accounts and profiles, has been handed off to the Internet Archive. ROM hacking will have new news. We'll have news posts and forums, but everything else is read-only, and the official Twitter and Discord affiliations are done. He, uh, Nightcrawler said, I thank all of the many staff and community members who kept the wheels turning and the lights on over the years. I am proud of our many accomplishments here together. I will carry forward remembering the good times, laughing about the bad times, and knowing she was right for the right time. She was right for the time, but time was a, has a way of moving on. But this isn't the whole story. Uh, Gideon Z, proprietary of Time Capsule Games and member of ROM Hacking for more than 20 years, took issue with Nightcrawler's monologued coda. In a thread on Twitter, X Twitter, huh, it's still Twitter to me, folks. Uh, Z acknowledged the site's technical debt, monetary cost, and the burnout of in being its administrator. But he goes to, but uh, Gideon says, quote, but he existed as a single point of failure for all the site. Uh, for, uh, let me restart that, sorry. But he existed as a single point of failure for the site and exerted iron fisted control over community curated content and categorically refused basically all offers to help over the last decade. G details a near abandonment of the site last year, followed by attempts by interested members gathered on the site's Discord chat server to transition the site's back end to monitored storage and file serving, such as Amazon Web uh, Services S3, and last-minute refusal by Nightcrawler to enact the changes. He also denied that the volunteers on the attempted transition threatened or doxed Nightcrawler. Administrator, an administrator on the now unofficial Discord for the site confirmed a rocky relationship between the founder and the would-be administrators, as reported by PC Gamer. The Discord admin also denied threats or harassment towards Nightcrawler. While ROM hacking, translation, demakes, and other game-altering works will certainly continue elsewhere, it's not going to happen on romhacking.net anymore, unfortunately. And it kind of sucks. Let's see what the comments are saying here. Uh, you know, props for leaving it up. This is Fubarian. Props for leaving it up, even if it's only in a read-only state. That still takes money and maintenance effort. I wonder if they're considering open-sourcing the code. I assume it's not open-source because if it was, this wouldn't really be a fight. 
the team frustrated with pace of change would have forked it already. That's true. That's a good comment. Mm. And Waffle Taco says, uh, not an article I was expecting to ever read. The site was a muscle memory regular visit for me. Same here. Uh, uh, when, when you look at the history of gaming, especially in the 16-bit and 32-bit area, I get era, I guess. Um, Rumhacking.net also pulled in a lot of people from Game Genie, Game Shark, Pro Action Replay. That was also known as a hacking of the ROM by patching memory addresses and stuff like that. So there was a big community of that there. And that's pretty much to an extent where all ROM hacking takes place initially is, you know, through game enhancers and stuff like that, code breaker. And then eventually once you get your, you know, you cut your teeth and you get good, you start actually modifying and physically altering and rebuilding the ROMs. That's how you you end up with some of these uh, retranslations, the, the fog fix. Man, you talk about a lot of history here. A lot of things happened on romhacking.net in the 20 years that you just can't uh, look away uh, from. You have to sit back in awe, honestly. And this uh, Waffle Taco goes on and says, we'll never go back to the awesome few years in emulation channels on IRC back in the late 90s, as SENS emulators were figuring out Transpiracy and the Fives, Final Fantasy V and Dark, uh, Dragon Quest V, <laughs> were being fans translated for this first time ever. But with so many emulation sites becoming ad-infested and shut down by Nintendo, let's, let's call a spade a spade, uh, scammy-looking things that felt more likely to serve up malware than good content, ROMhacking.net was in that little bucket with like uh yeah gba temp fun scene man too much drama rom hackers were so infamous for the my hard drive died and i lost everything story that it became a meme <laughs> right and i think it was the first time i've really experienced toxic apologism in the gaming community where fans would put up with anything for fear of missing out on more translations and the occasional famous hacker who would decide that fans' translations are actually bad, so I'm shutting down my site and deleting everything. That is that is an also a, a good comment. Got 65 upvotes and only one downvote. Dark Jaguar says, frankly, he should have handed this over to a group of people for managing it, but at least it's still available in an archival state. There are just too many amazing mods available there, and I'd hate to see them all just vanish. Exactly, and that's what's real tragic about this, is that with, you know, the death of romhacking.net and, like, I think it was 10 or 20 gigabytes of the data that they had there is now on uh, going to be uh, hosted on, and preserved on the, the Internet Archive. It, it just sucks. It really sucks that... Uh, a lot of that uh, stuff is going to be pretty much inaccessible. Unless, unless, and I will predict that it's possible, uh, the drama between the moderators and Nightcrawler might have inspired some of those administrators to back up and start backing up years ago because they might have predicted that this was coming down the pike. And it's sad, real sad. Ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one.